if you uh, in this week uh, we dropping in stoppage time we dropping five points and that is very expensive. I don't know what Gary Neville was saying. Oh, uh, I think uh, lately his form is progressing, um, and so the time has always been right. I think he has. Um, uh, he, has, uh, he has a big motivation eh, because he wants to be successful with us. Eh? He wants to, to win, to win trophies. He wants to score goals, but he wants to win the trophies and contribute. And we still have a chance in the FA Cup. He, uh, he wants uh, to fight for um, a Champions League spot and uh, the Euros are coming. So I would say his motivation should be high. Eh? And the form, eh, that is a moment. Uh, so he can change the momentum always. And yeah, lately he scored, uh, before Brentford, he scored in three games, three goals. John. Eric, the, the reaching the Champions League and that prize must be such an inspiration for the players. Do you feel as if you can still do it? Is that, is that still, can that still be a driving force? Uh, if you, uh, in this week, uh, we dropping in stoppage time, we dropping five points. And that is very expensive. <laughs> Uh, because uh, the, the points getting more expensive uh, because games are running out and yeah, we know that and we have to catch up and we are now uh, many points behind so yeah that will be will be difficult but we uh, we will keep fighting and I'm sure that you see our team they have character we have seen an example today as well and they are resilient and I'm sure they will will be there on Sunday uh, to be in the fight against Liverpool do, do you need to be perfect? Do you need to have a perfect run now to, to get into the Champions League realistically? Yeah, but that is also what they said before the, for this match. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Aaron, for you personally, how challenging is it to keep having to overcome these setbacks? It felt like a, a really important moment beating Liverpool in the FA Cup, but any momentum that was gained that day to, to have now gone? <coughs> for me personally, <laughs> I have to manage the game. And I have to manage a team, I meant to say. <laughs> and, um, so we see we have, we have qualities. Huh? We have some great players. Um, we, have, we can be a momentum. We can play um, on very high standards. We have seen today an example. We have seen against Liverpool. Uh, we can compete uh, with the best. We can uh, beat the best teams. Uh, in the Premier League, and so when you beat them in the Premier League, you can do it ac across Europe. But uh, we need to learn how you win games, how you bring. And uh, there was a, an example. Saturday was an example how you bring uh, big games or games over the line and get the three points. So we have to step up. Uh, we have to make better decisions uh, individually and as a team. Rich. Made, fans were banned. How important is it that the supporters use their voices as a force? We're getting behind the team. Uh, that's very important. Uh, um, be behind Man United, uh, supporters uh, in a positive way, uh, chairs up, supporters. Um, I think there's a, a fantastic bound between the team and the fans. Uh, they are always behind us. Uh, we have seen two weeks ago uh, in that game against uh, Liverpool uh, how an effect and how an impact uh, we can have in togetherness in a positive way uh, on the pitch. And yeah, we're going for that again positive mood on the Trafford on Sunday. You've beaten Liverpool um, twice already in the United Korea. How do you do it a third time? No, <laughs> we will see Sunday. Huh? But uh, I have to say, first I have to deal with this, but we can't, um, uh, we can't deal with this long. Huh? We have to recover very quick. Uh, we have to, to, turn, to turn this around. Uh, so from tomorrow on, uh, we will be in a positive mood. We're looking forward. We have to take energy. But yeah, we will be uh, from, from mad, uh, angry, 
and you can take a lot of energy and that is the way how we have to do it.